the documentary hasn't really been shown around here theatrically, so it just seemed like a perfect fit um, to bring Helen and the film to the center. It is um, a riveting, compelling, and by the end of it, you're pretty angry about the situation of women in the military. The military is a very protective insular organization and everybody in it is protecting their careers. Right. And um, they would rather sacrifice uh, you know, individuals to that than, than um, besmirch themselves. And then there's, there are many other elements too, uh, including the old boy club element and the, you know, the, the age old blame the victim and not taking rape even seriously a problem. Mm -hmm. There is the, it's all deep in the culture. Congress has been trying to make the military improve on this for years and years. Mm -hmm. Well, what we can do as citizens is just keep pressuring. In most instances we learn from the film, the immediate superior is the one who has done the rape. And so therefore that complaint is going nowhere. And as we see in the film, not only does that complaint go nowhere, but somehow or another the woman in many instances is blamed. It absolutely has to be moved out of the chain of command. There's only so much education you can do because these serial predators are not going to be educated to not rape. That's not going to happen. And uh, that's where we think the real issue is right now. But we still have a very long way to go because it's still a problem in the military that's mostly ignored, mostly covered up, and there are very few consequences for the predators, and we still have to fix that.